Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're going to be checking out Steam Link on the Quest 3. This is going to allow me to play my Steam games direct on the Quest 3 wirelessly. So we're going to set up Steam Link. We have the Steam logo. Welcome to Steam Link. Get started. So Steam Link is scanning for my PC, which is currently downstairs. I'm in my bedroom. We found my PC. I'm going to connect. I'm going to allow permissions. We're connecting. Okay, pairing. So my wife's going to type in the number for me downstairs. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, we're now in Steam. This is my Steam home using the new Steam Link. And don't forget, this is wirelessly, so I'm in my bedroom. My PC is downstairs. It's about um, 20 odd feet away. My router is also downstairs. And as you can see, this is running perfectly fine. Now you might see some distortion look, and that's the uh, latency between the Wi-Fi and the Quest 3. Now I played a game a few weeks ago in the garden. I played Blair Witch and I had lots of latency, lots of problems with the game because the Wi-Fi signal was not good enough. I also tried this this morning and it did not work because my Wi-Fi had some issues. Normally I use Airlink, but this morning again, I had problems because of my Wi-Fi. So if you have any problems like latency or lag, then it's probably something to do with your, your Wi-Fi settings. I'm going to jump into Kayak VR Mirage. Okay, I'm in the game and this looks amazing. I'm recording on my Quest 3 as well. So this is Kayak VR Mirage playing on my PC downstairs. We're going to jump into the uh, December update, which is here. Now, if you want to try this update, you will need to play the uh, public beta version of the game. If you go to your Steam library, go to the game, go to properties, make sure you select the public beta and you'll get the Christmas map. Oh, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, where's Santa? There he is. We have fireworks. So this is like a Christmas theme map, which comes out in December. I think I missed it last year. And if you've got like a PlayStation VR 2, I think this map's available as well. It's the 1st of December. It's actually been snowing today as well for me in real life. And it's snowing in the game. Now this looks amazing on the Quest 3, like I say. No problems at all at the moment with latency or lag. And don't forget, I'm playing on the Quest 3 in my bedroom. This game is running on my PC downstairs. And I'm using the wireless connection to play the game. So Steam Link is going to bypass Steam VR. We have some lights, we have some fireworks. This year for our local town light switch on, the uh, council decided to have no fireworks this year, which a lot of people were disappointed about because normally every year around Christmas during the light switch on, we have fireworks. Instead, we had Tinchy Strider, which I think was a waste of money, to be honest. And I think I would have preferred the uh, fireworks. But never mind, I'm in Kayak VR, I'm in the Christmas map, and I've got my firework display. And this is probably one of the most realistic VR games you can try. On the Quest 3, super sharp and clear, no screen door. This feels so real. And I love the snow effect.
Santa baby. Do, 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 do. Now I do have a confession to make. I tried to get Steam Link working for about four, five hours this morning. I reinstalled Steam VR. I reinstalled my Oculus app. I rebooted my PC. I deleted loads of programs. I had major lag when I used the Steam Link. But I also had major lag with Air Link. Now, yesterday I played a game. This is an upcoming VR game that I'm really looking forward to. I played it with Air Link. Again, I was in the bedroom, I was playing the game downstairs. It was a shooting game, everything was perfect, the tracking, there was no lag, no latency. So I knew that my Wi-Fi was the problem today. I tried for five hours to get this to work this morning. Eventually, I reset my router, I rebooted it. My wife informed me that it had been playing up anyway. So if you have any problems in games with lag and latency, using Wi-Fi, it's probably your, something to do with the uh, Wi-Fi signal. Also, my wife told me that yesterday we had a solar flare and that can affect Wi-Fi signals and I do believe that the uh, solar flare event is now over and everything's working fine. I would say that Steam Link is working just as good as the experience I get with their link. Now with the link cable you're going to get no lag or latency but with Steam Link and with Air Link, you could possibly get some um, issues with the uh, latency. And what happens is normally with latency, you get like a reduction in the texture quality. There's a nice tree over here. This is my first time playing this game on the Quest 3. I've been meaning to jump in. I want to try all the uh, VR experiences again on the Quest 3. I'm planning to play Lone Echo 1, Lone Echo 2, Asgard's Raft again, Robo Recall. And when I was playing this morning, I did not put the heating on, so I was actually really cold trying to play the game. And it added to the uh, immersion. Now, there is a secret hat as well that you can pick up if you try this mode. There's a Santa hat that you can get from the store. Okay, here's the uh, big tree look. There's a the gingerbread man. And over here, there's some presents. If I can get off the log. I'm stuck on the Yuletide log. So there's some presents here, look. Nice. And if I go to the store, to the shop, you'll see the uh, hat. There's my Santa hat that you get if you try the uh, Christmas experience. Okay, I'm going to restart the level. We're going to see Santa one more time, and then I'm going to watch the fireworks for a bit, and then we'll end the video. Show me the Santa. Nice.
I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye. As I was walking from the, the, the train station, I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community. And uh, Doc, Dr. Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around and I went up to approach him. <laughs> and Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something. <laughs> but I actually just went, I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so, all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. Have you tried to salvage it? <laughs> Nathy, Nathy, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, oh, oh. 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 that roast! Hello. Someone called a fire brigade. Nathan's on fire. He just got roasted. Might want to break their mic. Why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Shits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sorted now. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, she's really. His eyes have been no, fixed. Around. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's oh, track. Bully. PD, I saw. I was dead. You were running around for me, like Steve. Where are you? <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> That's why it was so perfect. He, like, he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. It's over, man. Jack. It's over. <laughs> hey, man. He's, PD's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally throwing. What a blissful life to be looking for Steve. <laughs>